Hello, America. So y'all see this double wide behind me? Me and my wife, we bought this double wide seven years ago as a foreclosure. My first ever viral video, I made on the couch in that double wide right there. My second viral video, I made in the backyard right behind that double wide right there. Me and my wife stayed in that double wide and we saved up all our pennies and our nickels and our dollars so that we could eventually build our dream home. And here a few months ago, we had that dream home built and we just moved into it. And I call it the Ginger Billy Compound. <laughs> so now, let's go check it out. Now, as we were saving up to build our new home, I knew I needed some land to build my house on. Now, I'm a country boy. I can't live in no neighborhood or have a HOA. Could you imagine me living in a neighborhood with a HOA? I get kicked out. You've seen the things I do. So I know that I needed property. And this 32 acres I'm standing on, it came up for sale and I purchased it. So now not only do I have my land that I can frolic on, I also have our dream home. Now listen here. Just cause I went and bought a little piece of property and I built me a house, that don't mean I've changed. I know there's gonna be some a-hole somebody, oh, look at him, he think he got money now, he's changed. First of all, I don't have money. I have debt. There's a difference, okay? And as you can tell, the first thing you see when you pull into my driveway in my yard is my Toyota Tacoma. It's my yard ornament. You can take the redneck out the double wide. But you can't take the double wide out the redneck. It's still really hard for me to believe that I purchased this house with the money that I made from my wife's feet pics that I put on OnlyFans. You know, their feet ain't even that pretty. There's some freaks out there. So she hasn't even had a pedicure or a manicure, whatever the feet one is, in like two months. I've seen homeless people's feet look better. Posted on there, $500, three days. Some nasty people in this world. But thank you for your donations. I appreciate it. I'll be posting more feed pigs soon because we got bills to pay. Now, the main reason that we built this house where we built it is because of the view. As you can see from the side of the front porch, we have this. A majestic view where you can see forever and ever. Now, this is the front view. Look out. You can say way over yonder wherever yonder is. I don't know, but that, that's a long view right there. Now, I know somebody's gonna say something about my yard, okay? I gotta fix it. I threw seed out and stuff like that, and the time I threw it out, it poured down monsoon rain, and it left the Grand Canyon in my front yard, okay? It's fixable, so shut up. All right. Now, as you can see here, this is our uh, really tall ceiling. When we built the house, I told the guy, I said, I want ceilings that you can't clean. I want something that's so tall that I can't reach a brush or anything up there. So that way, dust can get way up there and I'll never be able to get it. Our first room, this is my wife's office, okay? Uh, because she didn't want to order things off of Amazon in the bedroom. She wanted an office to do it. That's where all the Amazon stuff gets bought right there. Now this here is the living room. As you can see, we opted for the open floor plan to make it more spacious. That way me and Dale Jr. Jr., we can get out here, we can have our Nerf gun battles. And we also like to practice our jujitsu on each other right there on the floor. We'll turn the TV on to UFC fights and me and him will go to wrestling. Now it's time to take y'all from the living room into the kitchen. Now as you can see over there, that's my wife. <laughs> what you cooking, baby? Nothing. Same as usual. Well, all right then. Y'all heard it here first. My wife don't cook for me. I will show you one thing that I do get a lot of use out of in this kitchen, okay? It ain't that, though. And it ain't this right here, neither. This is called a, uh, a stove. I don't even know if it's operable. I've never seen it fired up before, not seen nothing cooked on it. So I couldn't tell you if it works or not. But I do know for a fact that this microwave, it works very well. I use it at least five to 10 times a day. You know, I ain't got no choice. If I didn't use this microwave, I'd starve to death. I probably got so much radiation poisoning from standing in front of this microwave that when you cut the lights off, I glow like a lamp. Now, when I do get hungry and I want me something to eat, I go right here. 
to the walk-in pantry. Now, obviously, this was my wife's idea, okay? Females want walk-in pantries. No man has ever told his builder, hey, you know what I want? A walk-in pantry. No, nah, we men don't care where the food's at as long as it's within reaching distance and we can shove it into our mouths. But my wife wanted a walk-in pantry, so she got one because I'm a good husband and I give my wife things that she wants. Now this here is the visitor's bathroom and I want you to notice something about every single toilet in this house. Okay, you see his toilet right here? You see his toilet seat? That's a bidet, yeah, that's a booty washing machine. Every single toilet in this house has a booty washing machine. So even when the visitors come into the house, they get a clean booty hole. Now let's step into my wife's other office, also known as the washroom. Oh yeah, I said it. Now I know some of y'all probably gonna call me a misogynist or whatever it is, but no, uh, I didn't go to school for that, okay? I don't give massages, all right? Now from the washroom, we will walk into our couple's closet. And I want you to notice who's got more room on their side of the closet, okay? This is what I get right here. This is mine. This is mine. I get this. A little, little bit corner right here. You see this here? Look, all this. Oh, and that side there too. Look, look, somehow she has intruded onto my side of the closet and put her shoes over here. Huh. How'd that happen? You know? She's lucky I love her. Now we're going to go out of the closet and into the master bathroom. Now, as you can see here, this is our walk in shower right here. I'm a man. After a long, hard day of working, getting all sweaty, this is where I come wash my body. But then, you know, there's lots of times where I just want to soak my bones. As I get older, I enjoy getting in the bathtub. So we had to get us a nice, deep bathtub. You know what I'm saying? She put me some Epsom salt in there, sit down in that hot water, read me a love novel. I'm just kidding. I, don't, I can't even read. I just watch YouTube videos when I sit in the bathtub. Now, when they made this bathroom, I told them, I said, I don't like them bathrooms where the, the toilet is wide open to where when somebody's taking a shower, somebody's taking a doo-doo, and they can just be sitting there looking at each other. I can't do that. I like my privacy. So, as you can see, got our own private little bathroom right there. And once again, oh, I got a booty washing machine. But this one here is fancier. It actually comes with a remote this sucker here's got a blow dryer. It's got a back wash for you, orifice, and then it's got a front wash for the ladies. That's right. It'll wash you, your front butt if you need it to. And now I'm gonna show you the master bedroom. <laughs> this is uh, this is where all the magic happens. You know what I'm saying? This is where I give my wife the best 60 seconds of her life once a month, right in here. So here. Walk in here, do a few pull ups, you know what I'm saying? Get pumped up, and then I get ready. Here, this is what completes the ensemble of this bedroom. This gives it that ritzy feel. That's a Dale Earnhardt bass right there, given to me by the one and only Hank Parker. You know, two time Bassmaster Classic winner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm talking about that man. This right here. Straight from Dale Earnhardt himself. I don't touch it. Yeah. I mean, this completes the bedroom, no doubt. Now it's time to take you upstairs to my studio. When this house was being built, I wanted a basement. You know, and I'm gonna tell you why. Cause I am scared to death of storms. I'm scared to death of them. So I told my wife, I said, baby, I want a basement. She said, all right, uh, what if I put you to office upstairs? You know, closer uh, to the storm. Would that be all right? And I was like, no, that's not what I want. She was like, okay, well, that's what you get. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my 600 square foot studio. It is also the cat's apartment. I got three cats. That's kind of my fault, okay? I rescued all three of them. That there, that's Marshmallow. He's the king around here. As you can see, I got him tattooed on my body. That's how much I love that darn cat. And this here is my girl, Chi Chi. She is very rambunctious and she gets into everything, but she's very sweet and I love her very much. And this here is Darth. We named him after Darth Vader. He's got three legs because some a-hole decided to shoot him in one of his legs. I had to take him and get his leg amputated. 
But as you can see, he's doing A-OK. -okay. He's living a great life now. He was living in the bushes. Then when he got shot and got his leg amputated, I brought him into the house. Now he is living a life that anybody, human or animal, would love to live. So now that I have shown you the inside of our house, it's time to go outside and check out the rest of the Ginger Billy compound. This here's the back porch. That's my child doing a headstand. But this back porch here has a very wonderful view as well. As you can see, my beautiful yard that I choose not to have grass in. Okay. Actually, uh, my builder asked me, he said, hey, man, you want the landscaping guy to come out here and plant you some seed? I said, heck no, I'm a man. I'll do that myself. And you see how well that went. I got some grass right there. I mean, you give it another year and a half, whole yard will be full of grass. But enough about my landscaping skills. Let's check out this view. You can see for miles and miles over that way. And then, if I look this way, I got my back pasture back there. Now, for whatever reason, my builder decided to put wood floors on the ceiling of my back porch and my front porch. I ain't never seen nothing like it. But I do have to say, it does look pretty. Now, I ain't the type of fella who brags about how much money he's made. But I will say that I have made enough money to buy me a submarine. And if you'd like to go ride on my submarine, it only cost you $250,000. Now, if you're wondering what this is here behind me, this is my dog kennel. You see, me and my wife, we help foster and rescue dogs. We have actually fostered over 30 dogs this year. Daddy, can you let me out? Yeah, when you start behaving. Oh, and it's a good place to put children who misbehave as well. Now, this ain't no regular dog kennel, okay? This is a luxury dog kennel. When a dog stays here, they get treated like royalty, all right? Come on in. Let me show you. Now, this here is the inside of the dog kennel. Now, as you can see, we got electricity in here, okay? Yeah, that's right. Got air conditioning. We're gonna have heat installed. When they come here, they get treated like fur kings and queens. All right, now it's time to show y'all my baby, okay? Now, the house, that's my wife's baby, okay? You know, I, I tried to be a good husband. I tried to build her the house that she'd always wanted because that's what I do. I make my woman's happy for the most part in certain situations. Uh, but anyway, this, this is my baby right here. Now I have a place where me and Bobby can build all of our beautiful, extravagant automobiles. No more building under an oak tree. But we did that for three years. Built under an oak tree with cinder blocks and a car jack. Now it's time to move up. Can you imagine what we're gonna do now that we have a roof over our heads and electricity and we ain't running 14 drop cords out to the front yard? Oh, it's about to get good. Now as you can see, I've got all my whips parked outside. Most all of them's uninsured. So, can't really drive them on the highway. That's my Jeep right there. It's sweet, you know, Jeep gang. That's the old Foley truck. The only front wheel drive dually in the world. And then here, that's my Kubota tractor. Old reliable. And then there's the old monster truck there uh, that you've seen previously. 450 horsepower, nitrous injected. It's a pretty bad mamma jamma. Now on this side of the building, this is where I keep all my toys. Uh, there's my son's go-kart. I had to get him a go-kart. I had to let him know what it feels like for a child to grow up in the 90s. We didn't have any safety mechanisms. Didn't have no seat belts. Didn't have no helmets. 30 mile an hour, right there. No seat belt, no nothing. No suspension. You know, it's just gonna rock his brain every time he hits a bump. Here's his little side by side. We got dirt bikes. I went through the whole dirt bike fad. Wanted to be a dirt bike racer for all of a week. And then realized I suck. And uh, now these dirt bikes just sit in this building and gather dust, because I don't really ride them anymore. I walk in here and look at them and be like, man, they're pretty. That's about it. This is the old Batmobile that me and Bobby built. If you haven't seen that video, it's a good one. Check it out, you know what I'm saying? This is the side of the building where we're going to create Everything. I even got me a two box now. I ain't got to steal my daddy's tubes no more. For three years, me and Bobby was going in my daddy's shop and taking all his tubes. We wasn't stealing them, okay? We was borrowing them, all right? But without that man, without his tubes, we never would have got nothing done. Because I didn't have nothing. The first two I ever bought was this Sawzall right here. And that was when we turned that minivan into a truck. This was the first tube I ever really bought right here. And now, we got our own tube box. Got a lot of stuff in there. Now, I ain't got me a darn drill press. 
Yeah. Moving up in the world, baby. Look here. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, buddy. We getting fancy. Now, I showed you the inside of the building. This here is the carport edition, uh, 15 foot. This is usually where a normal person would pull their vehicles. But I'm not a normal person. So this is where I put more junk. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed this tour of the Ginger Billy Compound. Y'all have a good one. God bless you. I love you.